Oh, look at that turtle over there. Uh, you know what this is? Uh, for sure, this is a stone that tells the history of the Wangaksa Buddhist temple. It was made alongside the uh, temple in 1471. The whole path has like a dragon decoration and is also pretty supported by a stone turtle. And the lower half was made out of granite and the upper half was made out of marble. Any more questions? Oh, then where's that temple at? Unfortunately, the only thing remaining of the temple is this stone and that 10th floor tower over there. Can you tell us what this monument is? Oh, yeah, this is the 10th story stone pagoda, which is really, really related to the Buddhist uh, religion. Can you tell us what this is decorated with? You can see there are several carvings on each story. Uh, they are mostly decorated with the drawings uh, from a story called Journey to the West, which is also a story about a Buddhist uh, and the adventure of, with those uh, monkey and other creatures. I saw that uh, stone pillar and Power. I heard that they are all related to Buddhism. Can you explain me why and how? Well, to explain this to you, I first have to explain the general concept of Buddhism and what its meaning was in Korean history. So, to answer your question, first of all, Buddhism is kind of like a philosophy that originated in India about how to live a happy life but as it spread throughout East Asia into China, Korea and Japan Buddhism started having a more religious meaning especially to the general population so um, monuments like these were built to honor Buddhism and in particular the stone tower is called a pagoda in the pagoda was originally used to store the remains of Buddha or and later it was used to store more uh, Buddhist monks, the remains of Buddhist monks and was used in general to kind of honor and worship Buddhism as a religion and since it was a religion that spread among the population it also served as a rallying point for the population during times of crisis such as the Indian war against the Japanese and the March 1st movement. I hope that answered your question. Thanks. Hello everyone, welcome to our explanation about the Pagoda Park. We are the Youth Cultural Tour Guides from the Youth Cultural Cooperation. Today we are going to look at Seoul's first ever modern park and important historical events within it. Pagoda Park is designated as historic site of Korea and is the place where an independence movement that acted crucial for the first steps of independence of Korea first happened. Then let's actually start. We hope you enjoy. From 1910, the Korean Empire, the Daehan Empire, was occupied by Japan. The Japanese government tried to occupy the people of Joseon thoroughly through discrimination and oppression, especially independence movement supporters. The March 1st movement, the first nationwide independence movement, broke out here in the Pagoda Park. It is called the March 1st movement because it was started in March 1st of 1919. The movement quickly spread all the way to rural areas and continued until May. It first started mostly by intellectuals, students, and the religious leaders. But later, farmers and workers joined too. Not only inside the Korean Peninsula, March 1st movement's influence extended to overseas and supporters took part in areas like America, Japan, and Manchuria, and so on. 
Although the independence movement failed in short term, it became the motivation and secured the sustainability of anti-Japanese movements that continued on. It also caused the Korean provisional government in Shanghai to be made. The March 1st movement was the largest scale of any independence movements that happened in the Japanese occupation period. Historians evaluate the March 1st movement as the most important and influential liberation movement that actually happened in Korea. In the 1910s, the religious community were able to maintain its organization under the Japanese colonial rule and became the center of the March 1st movement starting. With 16 Christian leaders, 2 Buddhist leaders, and 15 Tondo leaders, the 33 ethnic representatives were made. The 33 re uh, ethnic representatives decided to gather at the Gota Park at noon on March 1st to hold an independence declaration ceremony. However, the venue was changed to Taewagwan, a restaurant in Jongno, to prevent it being a violent demonstration. They were arrested after reading the Declaration of Independence and shouting Long Live Independence together. It was made under a secure plan and it was declared and distributed in Seoul and other major cities in March 1st. There is a person called Son Byung Hee who participated as the main body of the March 1st movement as a representative of Chengdu religion. He agreed to popularize, unify, and make non-violent independence movement which with other supporters earlier in the year. He joined in printing out the Declaration of Independence papers and was one of the most important members to make the demonstration possible.
was first during the March 1st movement in 1919. Therefore, our tour in the Pagoda Park is over. Did you enjoy the video? Pagoda Park is a very historical place because it was the place where the Declaration of Independence was read in the independent movement. Also, not only the history, you can see the beautiful monuments such as 10 stories stone pagoda of Wangaksa Temple. If COVID-19 gets better, I recommend you to take a walk with interesting Korean history and beautiful sculptures in here.